Hello everybody, it's Steve Katzkaris, your Norlin Kobaconk Minden Community Watchdog. Just doing a quick video here today, we've had the uh, Premier, Premier Doug Ford. I like to call him Dougie the Hutt. Has done, has done some illegal things here to us fellow Canadians, and I thought I'd bring it to your attention today that uh, these rules of his are not legal at all. And the reason why is I'm going to be going through the Emergencies Act with you, and I'll actually show you the law, and that's why Trudeau didn't pass the Emergencies Act. You know why? Because the Charter and Rights and Freedoms and the Human Rights Act need to be respected. See, what happened in 1988, we used to have a thing called the War Measures Act. It was repealed, I mean, gone. And the reason for that was because of all the abuse that happened to Japanese Canadians during World War II. So that's why they repealed, that means the, the War Measures Act has been eliminated, and they brought in the Emergencies Act to guarantee the Charter and Rights and Freedoms even in, during the emergency. So that's why right now what Premier Ford is doing is telling people that you got to follow his rules or you're going to face a $10,000 fine. Set a minimum fine of $10,000 for the organizers of illegal social gatherings. This is the highest fine anywhere in the entire country. In addition to the $750 fine for individuals who break the rules and show up to these parties. That is absolutely ridiculous. And he's uh, also saying that he's sharing all his uh, scientific data with us. The government's not sharing any scientific data. I don't know a single person that's got the disease or has died of the disease or even seen a medical record of anybody that's got COVID-19. And um, right now, by going over the law here, the Emergencies Act, which I'm going to show here, here up on the screen, you will see why Justin Trudeau didn't pass the Emergencies Act and also the Premier didn't pass the proper legislation either to bring in an emergency here in Ontario because there is no emergency. This thing is worldwide, it's nationwide. Trudeau has the opportunity and the power under the bill to bring in the Emergencies Act, but he didn't need to do, he didn't want to do that because he need to respect the Charter and Rights and Freedoms. So, what's going on? Bottom line, the anti-terrorist laws are being used on you right now and you don't even know it. That's right, Bill C-36, S-7, and Bill C-51. That's how people are getting pulled into courthouses, given these bogus fines, and they're going to enforce them, the cops for sure, is because they can do this all in secret. That's why they didn't need to push the emergencies bill, for one, Emergencies Act. And if you look at the Emergencies Act, it says you can't do this. So the only way they can play the game and not call it laws, but call it rules, just like Doug Ford here. To the $750 fine for individuals who break the rules and show up to these parties. You will see that that's how they pull the wool over your eyes and turn our country into a Nazi fascist police state and take away our freedom, our constitution and your liberty and also make sure that you uh, think that you're, um, that you're some kind of bad person if you uh, contest this, like going out and uh, meeting people downtown Toronto and protest this now. Once this goes into effect here, these fake rules, if you try to assemble anywhere, the cops are gonna come in heavy handed just like the G20 in 2010, plain and simple. And this is all being done by the anti-terrorist laws. So let's take a look at the Emergencies Act. And that's why you'll see that Justin Trudeau did not want to push that. Not because he's a nice guy. It's because if he does push the Emergencies Act, there's a sunset clause, I believe, in there as well. Meaning that it's a temporary point in time. It's not the new normal forever. And even though it's a national emergency, they can't take away the Charter and Rights and Freedoms or the Human Rights Act. And that's what the government's doing right now to all of you by not pushing this bill and using secretly the anti-terrorist laws. So let's take a look at the Emergencies Act. Emergencies Act, I'm just gonna go over this with you now here folks, you can see it on the front of your screen here. I'm just gonna go over page one and this is where we got Trudeau and also the Premier here on page one. All right, I'm just gonna read it out to you. You can look it up on the internet, but you can see when I get down to the bottom there, I'm gonna blow that up and you're gonna see that um, what, what Premier Ford is doing is totally illegal. Like telling you that he's going to have people come into your backyard while you're having a barbecue with too many people and fine you. Yeah. Yeah. And if you get violent with the police or whoever is there, they're going to shoot you. And it'll all be buried under the anti-terrorist laws. And that's what people need to understand is that the anti-terrorist laws are being used on 40 million Canadians right now. And you don't even know it. 
And that's why Trudeau did not pass the Emergencies Act. Because he knew that if he did do this, people would see that on page one. He wasn't being a nice guy by not passing it. The CBC carried it on like he did pass it and now there's all these rules. That's why you keep hearing it over and over again. I can't stress it. They say follow the rules. You're going to hear Premier Ford say that. Everybody says that. It's not follow the rules. Canada is the rule of law. People need to understand that. We're the rule of law. So when they say rules, they're full of baloney. So let's go through the Emergencies Act. It was in 1985. The War Measures Act, as I mentioned before, was repealed. That means it's gone now because of all the atrocities in World War II to Japanese Canadians. So when they made the Emergencies Act, they made sure that what? Fundamental rights are protected even during an emergency. And we can see right now, <laughs> people are being arrested like Dan Dix for their own protection. Yeah, baloney. That's all uh, anti-terrorist laws. Anyways, all right, Emergencies Act. An act to authorize the taking of special temporary measures. Remember Trudeau's talking about the new normal? Well, this is supposed to be temporary. That's another problem. So if you just think that this is all legit what he's doing right now, this is to bring in a dictatorship under your noses. Temporary measures to ensure safety and security during national emergencies and to amend other acts in consequence thereof. All right. Whereas the safety and security of the individual... The protection of the values of the body politic and the preservation of the sovereignty, security, and territory integrity of the state are fundamental obligations of government. And whereas the fulfillment of those obligations in Canada may be seriously threatened by a national emergency and in order to ensure safety and security during such an emergency, the Governor and Council should be authorized, subject to the supervision of Parliament, Remember, Parliament's been shut down, folks. There is no Parliament. That's another little trick they're doing. To take special temporary measures that may not be appropriate in normal times, like wearing masks, social distancing, hand sanitizer, etc., forcing people and businesses to do it. Now, this is where it gets, this is where we got them, right here, folks. And uh, that's going to be, um, I'm just going to blow it up here so you can see it. And whereas the Governor and Council in taking such special temporary measures, not new normal, would be subject, that means they're bounded, to the Canadian Charter and Rights and Freedoms. That means you can have a barbecue with a million people in your backyard and they can't do nothing. Like private parties in your backyard or barbecues held in your home, backyards and parks. <laughs> And the Canadian Bill of Rights, I bet you a lot of people don't even know we have that, and must have regard to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Well, you can see me, a political rival, getting arrested. You can see Kevin J. Johnson, another political rival, getting arrested for crimes we did not commit and thrown in jail, particularly with respect to those fundamental rights that are not to be limited or abridged even in a national emergency. Okay, so I rest my case. So now people know right there that Trudeau not, did not pass the Emergencies Act because he knew that the Emergencies Act would get in his way. Then they all started talking about rules in Ottawa and Queen's Park and across the nation and started telling people to follow the rules, follow the rules, use the fear-mongering, didn't come up with any data of the people, names, faces, medical records to prove all this. All we're getting is lottery numbers showing that 300 people have been infected yesterday. Who? Who are they? We want to know. We want a public inquiry. This has been going on for six months now. No end in sight. It was supposed to end in June to flatten the curve. And here we got mass mandatory without the proper law. And now Premier Ford is threatening people. If they get into uh, a group of people in their backyard having a barbecue, they're going to send in cops and bylaw and arrest you and fine you. And he's even bragging about how much it's going to be. I forget what it's, $10,000 fine and $750 for anybody that shows up to a party not following his damn rules. So what's going on here is absolute treason, total absolute treason. This is to turn our country into a police state, to bankrupt our country, and we as Canadians need to take action. And uh, under Section 25 of the Criminal Code, you, me, or any other person in Canada 
can do anything. That's right, anything. There are no limits. So it's, it's kind of like the American Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. Well, we got it here too. If Ottawa, Queen's Park are involved in criminal activity against the Queen and the Canadian people and are not following the law, we have the right to rise up and overthrow government. Plain and simple. And the Queen has given you the sword and shield. Section 25 of the Criminal Code. Right there. You need to restore law and order. We need to restore law and order. And just because people, some people think that they're rich or they're powerful and they're in politics and they're, they're in government, they are not above the law. No one's above the law. And people need to remember that this country belongs to all Canadians and people in government are simply representatives. And Canada was built on responsible government. And right now, it's not responsible at all. It's absolute tyranny and illegal. That's all I got to say on all this. Anyways, I'm Steve Katsikaris, your Norland Kobakonk Minden Community Watchdog, watching out for the taxpayer and the environment. So long, everybody, and stay tuned for my next video. And hey, start looking up the law. Absolutely, start looking up the law. Don't count on the lawyers because I don't know if they're all stupid or they're all corrupt because the law is right there and mainstream media doesn't even want to mention it. This is nothing more than fear-mongering. Let's put an end to this nightmare. It's going to take everybody to stand up and say no to this.